Hi guys, this is Manoj Kutla. In the last video, I have covered M codes and G codes introduction. If you have not seen the video, the link is in the description. Please go through it. In this video, we will go through M codes. That means, in this video, I have covered the mainly used M codes for a basic program. At first, N0 it means unconditional program stop it means unconditional when you introduce N00 in the program it will stop without your interference it means after uh, in a operation a turning facing and drilling our three operations are carried out on the part after turning and facing when you keep the M00 it will stop there before drilling and next M01 it means optional stop it refers to optional it means when you need it you can engage it it means there is a option stop button on the control panel and when you activate this option stop button on the control panel when there is a m01 after program it means after turning when we face m01 or facing after when you activate the option stop button it will stop when there is where there is M01, it will stop. And next M03 and M04. Both codes are used for spindle rotation. It means it differs in when M03 is used, the spindle rotates in clockwise direction, and when you use M04, the spindle rotates in counterclockwise or anti-clockwise rotation. It means if it is spindle, it rotates in clockwise direction. We use M03, and when the spindle want to be rotated in, in anti-clockwise, that means counterclockwise. Here we use M04. For rotation of spindle, we using M03 and M04. To, to stop the spindle, we use M05. It means M05 refers to spindle stop. Next, M6. I mean M06. This code is used for tool changing purpose. And as we discussed, on a part, turning, facing, and drilling are going on. For these three different operations, we use three different tools. And one after operation completed, when operation is completed, then we need to call second tool. So, for calling this second tool, it means tool changing. And when you use after tool number M6, it, it indicates tool change. The tool, the T2 should be changed. Next, M07 and M08. Both refers for coolant on it means what is why coolant is used a coolant is used because there is a contact between tool and work when there is contact between both metals there high heat is generated which reduce tool life with heat there is also a large amount of chip is formed to run away, the, run away this chip coolant is also used there are coolant comes in two ways one through coolant and other is flood through coolant also known as mist it means 
it is spindle tool is clamped to the spindle the tool contains holes in inside from inside the tool the coolant comes from inside the tool it means known to be through coolant and it is spindle and its tool here flood coolant means the coolant is supplied with extra hoses it means additional hoses the coolant is supplied to the tool and work it is known to be flood coolants it means to different to differentiate this through and flood coolants we use m07 for through coolant and m08 for flood coolant for coolant on we using both codes to off the coolant we use m09 m09 it means simply coolant off and later m30 it means program end it means after completion of all three operations as we discussed for example the turning facing and drilling after completion of all three operations we use m03 sorry m30 because it ends up to there and there is also to stop the pro to stop the program we also use m02 at the end of the program this is also known as end of program the reference is when we use m30 the program can be reusable and it is repeatable because when there is a mass production we use m30 at the end of the program and we need just to for manufacturing single part we use m02 it is it is unrepeatable program the program can be re repeated when we use m02 and later m98 and m99 m98 m98 refers to call up sub program and m99 refers to end of sub program what is sub program why we use sub program sub program is from the main program uh we see we use tvds and omps in milling because in the when the life has been completed of the tool or uh, sometimes in the middle of the life the tool can be broke then when we use tbd programs i mean tbd and tbd say tool broken detectors when we use this detectors this program has been kept in sub sub programs because when we kept in the main program the length of the program will be increases to reduce the length of the program these videos oh sorry this uh, pro sub programs has been kept it has been kept in sub programs or when we see OMP programs. It means for the OMP tools is used in some missions to measure the initial dimensions. That is, it has been in the cut dimensions or not. It has been measured by OMP tools. These sub programs are kept as uh, with a indication of variable p and uh, some number. later when we use m98 to call the sub to call the sub programs after running of the sub program it should be ended and continued with the main program so we use at the end of the sub program m99 is used it means 
it will end up to the it will end the sub program and main programs continues later thank you guys this video is covered with mainly used m codes for a basic programming thank you in the next video we will cover g codes thank you if you like this video please like share and subscribe to manoj gupta thank you